Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard. Today I'm coming to you, well, just got myself a new used Model 3 and I'm transitioning over from my F-150 Lightning to a new used Model 3. I think Tesla software's there. Look, I don't want to get into the politics of Elon Musk or anything like that, but what we're going to look at is we're going to look at some accessories for Tesla that don't have reviews on them yet. And one of the first ones we're going to look at is the EcoFlow Heat Guard Solar Film for Model 3. They also make it for all the S sexy, uh, the S3, XY, and I'm pretty sure they make it for the Cybertruck too. Now, this is a solar panel that's got uh, pretty good specs to it. Uh, we'll talk about the specs. They're kind of covered right now. Uh, actually, yeah, so we have a 256 volts at tw uh, 256 watts at 25 volts. Not a super sunny day in Florida today, so good time to install it. Uh, and it keeps the car, which is black on black, cooler by over 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, this car, it's only 75 degrees outside, and uh, it's still over 100 degrees this morning in the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through how we install this, um, and then I'm going to show you what it's really going to be hooked up to. It's going to be running a fridge in the trunk along with some other electronics, because that's what I do. Because what i got to do is i got to make the electronic system in this car as close to the truck as possible. So we're going to be building our own electronic system inside, but for right now I'm just going to focus on this panel right here. The EcoFlow heat guard solar film for Model 3, which there's not a single review online for, so why wouldn't I do it? So stick along, head along, we've got to, the tools we need, should just be a step ladder, uh, and we'll install this, run the cables to the back, make sure it's working and everything like that. Stay tuned. All right, so let's talk about what comes in the box. You see we've got some VHB tape, we're going to use later. And we've got two separate panels from EcoFlow right here. EcoFlow has instructions on how to install this on their YouTube, but essentially they are two separate panels, so you can hook in either parallel or series, and then there's actually some stuff that comes down. What it says to do is it says to do the outside of the panels first, then get on the step stool and do the inside of the panels. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So that's what you want to do is leave a couple, couple inches around each of these and it should uh, actually stick on no problem a little bit better let me show you let me show you what i had in my f-150 or still have in my f-150 that i'm gonna have to remove but essentially i've got my own panels i've installed up there not nearly as nice as uh what goes on the model 3. so let's uh let's get installing essentially what you've got here is you've got some 3m tape underneath what they recommend doing again you get the edges first Then you get the back, and come around and do the middle. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. It's cool enough in South Florida for once to actually do this. So let's uh, let's get these panels mounted, and hopefully they'll stay on here. Let me—I'll uh, I'll play their mounting video here. I don't think they'll have a problem with me playing the mounting video. And then we'll res we'll go back and to review it. But here's a here's their mounting video. I'll insert it right here. This is exactly what I'm doing, but I don't have the hands with you. All right, so what I've done is I've gotten the panels, I'm testing them individually. We're going to be connecting them in series later. I'll explain what that means. Uh, but uh, I've got power coming in from one panel. I'm just checking it on this little on this little monitor right here. So I'm just going to plug them into the MC4 cable that comes with it. And we'll check this one. Doik. Doik. Make sure we've got power coming in. As long as we got power coming in, we're good for now. It's not much because it's a overcasty day, but you see as long as that's going around, there's power coming in. Now what we got to do is follow their instructions and strap down the panels uh, with the tape that's included and already mounted on the back. Then later we'll talk about these guys and building out a system and everything of that sort. So stay tuned for that. It's coming soon. But yeah, there we go. Let's uh, tape down those panels. You know, I actually have some concerns with the way they're saying to install this. I installed it the way they said the first time. It looks like this way is much easier. Just peel them back. Do it one of these slats at a time. Not sure why they make it so complicated with you having basically seal the first one. And you seal the second one. I'll show you. Essentially flop it back on itself. And it's good. Then you just go to the next one, flop them back on itself, and it's good. 
I'm not sure why they have all these steps. Hopefully I don't eventually figure out why. That's all I'm saying. But for right now, I did one their way and one my way. And uh, seems to be working just fine this way. That's all I'm saying. Strip it out, flip it down, move on. Instead of having to go left, right, up, center, down, just peel it, peel it, peel it, and stick it. We're fighting sun right now. Not the biggest fan of uh, fighting sunlight, but I'm gonna have to come back and show you what I actually do with this uh, tomorrow because I don't have time to move everything out right now. But we're just gonna hook up one battery in the back. I was originally, this thing I'm just using, let me show you, this guy right here, I'm just using to test it. I'm actually gonna put a whole Victron system in the trunk that could theoretically charge the car if I wanted to. Theoretically. But um, yeah, we're just gonna get the stuff off here. Just gonna flop down that panel, flop down that panel, flop down that panel. They're slightly misaligned, but Overall, I'd say it's pretty damn good there. Just just slight by fractional inches there. Eh. Next time use a tape measure. In the front they're lined up okay, but uh, next time use a tape measure <laughs> if I ever put one of these on again. I'm no expert, I'm just a guy who bought this from the internet. All right, so we got it nice and sealed on the top here. We're gonna make sure nothing's getting under it, nothing's getting under it, especially in the front. You don't want anything getting under it there. It's solid. Everything is connected there. Not going anywhere. All got voltage and all that. And what we gotta do is just get these two down and then we're done, just so the cables don't flap around. What you do is you take this 3M tape right here, put it on. Again, something kind of hard to do one-handed. But I'll try it for you. Already cut it to shape and size. Not gonna push it down over there and then you want to make sure that you've got a waterproof seal here so again we're gonna go straight down push 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 that's good and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna route it around here so that you've got a waterproof seal you don't want to break the waterproof seal so now we're gonna do that on the other end again they give you some extra tape so some of this tape and then some of the thinner tape which the thinner tape is what you used to actually hold the panel on board this is VHB tape this is very solid tape. Nothing's going anywhere. And I don't think it's gonna mess with the aerodynamics, not nearly as much as a, um, what you would, as a roof rack would. So, seems pretty secure on there. That's what I'm gonna say. But we're gonna get the other side done before the sun goes down, then do some cleanup. And tomorrow we'll come back and hook up what's really gonna be running this beast. All right, and there we are. It took probably about half an hour to install. And what we've got, is we've got a pretty sleek profile here. We got MC4 cables coming out here. Again, this was just for testing. I'll show you part two. We're actually gonna put a Victron system inside of this. I'll just have to make sure everything fits. That'll be kind of a fun one to make sure everything fits in the Victron system. But yeah, we're good to go. I don't think that's going anywhere. 238 watts, I think, which is not bad because I had 300 on my truck. Um, this is, I believe, let's make sure, I think it's 238. 256 watts. So not 512, not 128, not 64, not uh, 32, not eight, not four, not two, it's a binary. So 256 watts at 25 volts. You know, get a little more sunlight. Might do one more thing. Let's see if we can get it done. Install the actual solar controller, and then we'll put in the batteries and stuff later. Stick around. I think we can do this tonight. Let's see. You know what? On second thoughts, we'll leave the solar controller for tomorrow morning, but we are gonna wire these in a um, in series instead of in parallel. So what we do is we plug one panel into another, click, and then these two are gonna be what's gonna go into our solar controller. So you'll see that tomorrow when we go Victron on this car. Yeah, we're going Victron. For those of you who know what it means, you know what it means. So you don't, 
Well, you learn. We're gonna go Victron on it. Stick around. More fun to come soon.